Hello and welcome back to Hamilton of Crypto. My name is Hamilton, obviously. Let's jump in to the charts because there is a, a little bit of a higher time frame update I do want to give you here today. So let's just jump in, uh, starting with what has happened since our last major video anyway, right? So we were in this triangle, was looking pretty decent. We actually did take a trade up here and uh yeah it's 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 gone well you can see here we completed the measure move we banged it we hit the price action channel just standard stuff here after a downtrend and yes what do you know a uh, huge way towards the downside to follow that as well so what is new what is the next trade that is the question and oh i see you liking the video thank you very much massively appreciated let me know in the comments let me know if you got in this trade uh, i was actually a little bit late on this trade uh, just to be brutally honest and I was a bit mixed up with my accounts because I'm doing the WSOT account I'm doing my main account and I'm doing the uh, Decentra hype account so uh yeah there's a lot of things going on and it, it has uh, led to a few mishaps but um yeah let's just jump into the next little thing here so we can see that uh basically we have somewhat of a channel coming through not somewhat we, we have a channel coming through and, and what we can say here with this is there are measure moves because there are uh, lows and highs and lows and highs which does make the channel so what are we looking for here for the next measure move we're looking if it is a downside break here and i would be cautious on this one and definitely take some profit on this volume weighted atr band if we do break towards the downside today um I think there is some big things being released uh, in the US today for something. So just keep an eye out for that because that could uh, basically bring the market down or up depending on how it goes most likely down and uh yeah so if we are looking at this beautiful measure move coming through these are, these are the big ones this is the big dog big trades the ones that i like to trade more than anything rather than like the five minute scalpies but uh yeah this is definitely something that's cool and uh yeah we can see here that that would make a lower low 17.3 not fantastic but at the end of the day money is money and if we can short it we will short it and basically all i'm looking for here is, is a break of this low uh basically nine nineteen thousand. I, I will probably wait for nineteen thousand because it's a round number we've got loads of wicks in this area as well so we don't want to get trapped here but uh what we can say yeah if, if we do consistently break the 19,000 area i will be looking for a short initially down to uh 18.4 where the volume weighted atr band is and then let me just find the right tool here and then from that point just just to kind of give you a percentage mark here uh from 19,000, just to be clear We'll just go from here, right? Uh, two and a half percent or two point eight percent, looking pretty good there. And then the other take profits would basically just come in where these wicks are, right? So any kind of major pivot that we've had on the way down here will be uh, looking to take profit. And you could say this one as well, but it's just it's close to the volume weighted ATR band anyway. So yeah, I will be taking that and looking for this uh, th these beautiful take profits towards the downside. And the final one being uh, most likely down here, but I may uh, depending on how it looks, if momentum's kind of curling towards the upside here or curling or losing momentum from this downside move then uh, i will make my take profit a little bit higher per, potentially just above this previous low and then go for a higher low there right uh, towards the upside it's a pretty similar story we can see here that uh it's, it's basically the same measure move towards the upside and this is actually a bit uh, realistic here after going down for I don't even know how many months now I want to say a year <laughs> I want to say yeah we've been going down for a long long time now so um yeah I mean up to 24, 25k, that kind of area makes a lot of sense to me. And if we do get up there, let me just see if I can get the uh, the right moving averages here as well. 55 EMA, 200 SMA, and 200 EMA as well coming through. So just add those to the charts and, and just kind of have an idea of where we could potentially take profit on this move. Uh, so yes, we, we can see the price action channel here that we did kind of snag, but I would like to see us kind of have a bit more of a downwards move. So ideally, if we do uh, basically bang it up here, what I'll be looking for is a high to be put in around this area, a re test of this channel and then breaking that high for the move towards the upside very similar to what we were saying about the 19k area where we we, we don't want to be in a short above 19k we want to wait for the 19k to break and then bang it down right so it'd be exactly the same with this price action channel as well as this high as well it's almost like identical uh or symmetrical in a way right so this 22.5 area all the way up to 24 and again just percentages on this bad boy let's say we go from this candle body uh close here because it makes a bit more sense here for this pivot and uh, we can see here yeah five to to six seven percent here coming through and this will come down over time as well so we'll be looking at like six percent ideally and then a few take profits uh just to kind of keep things fresh so a take profit would be uh yeah essentially where this line is there um 
currently at yeah 22.9 and then as well as that uh, 23.2 as well and these might look like tiny take profits guys but they're not these these are big percentages and what we can say here with this is if you are using leverage as well uh, lots of money to be made and you don't want to just be holding the trade all the way up and hoping we get to 50k because that is not smart obviously markets move sideways 80 percent of the time so uh yeah you want to be uh, getting the small gains think of it like a ladder right if you want to progress uh, you don't just have each pin on the ladder like unreachable and you have to jump to each pin right what you want is loads of little pins so you've got loads of grip so you can gradually get up without using as much strength right so that is the correct way to trade that's the correct way to manage your risk and uh yeah and that's exactly what we're doing here as well so that's the, the daily the 24 hour coming through i'm not sure how long i've been going here um my <laughs> my streaming thing does not uh tell me unfortunately but uh, we can see here on the four hour as well a little bit of a different scenario here this is actually uh put in from the i think the three day or something like that um, we were looking at, yeah, okay, so the, the daily, I believe. Yeah, so the daily here, basically what we were just looking at, the same pattern here, but uh, on the four-hour chart as well. And you can see the four-hour is kind of trapping to both sides of that. So that's why we want to see kind of daily closes for those big moves we were just talking about. But in terms of more... Uh, recent moves or in terms of more immediate term moves we can see here that there is a, a bit of an air pocket here towards the upside up uh, for about two percent so i may be looking for this trade on the world series of trading side of things a quick scalp side of things but um uh, as of right now that is pretty much expected that we do get an upwards wave it's just with this us news coming out it could just literally just topple the market here so we want to be careful with this one uh, as a little bit of a pump has started here we have broken resistance uh, is looking a bit better but the lower you go down you can see just more more and more traps right so if we are just going to adjust this to the hourly time frame this is why trading smaller time frames can be very very dangerous because hey we broke over this line here everyone bangs it in long oh wait we come down for another uh, wave down so uh, just adjusting this line is fine just be aware that it will be less valuable and less reliable on a lower time frame this is why i'm sticking to a four hour more than anything uh, nowadays to say the least right so we'll see if this does want to come up here and we see if we can find a position again just taking profit for any of these candle closes uh, any of these areas uh, important pivot zones uh, so 20,260 would be a key area as well and then from that point if we do want to come up here uh, say we retest and bang it up then um yeah, what I'll be looking for is initially a short of the price action channel for a couple percent here, maybe uh, kind of play in this kind of range. And then from that point, uh, I would expect probably sideways and coiling up again from this area. So that's not really a tradable zone after those two kind of moves coming through. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll I'll, keep you up, I'll keep you guys updated on the short side of things. So uh, obviously uh, not not trading shorts, but YouTube shorts and uh, TikTok and that kind of stuff. Right. Um, for one minute updates, if I do want to take this position, if it doesn't look healthy, if it does look kind of uh disgusting no volume etc etc then uh yeah i'm not going to take the trade why would i um and that's cool and then yeah that's pretty much the the update here to be honest guys uh, besides that i do just want to say uh we've got uh we got thursday night trade off tomorrow night's a live stream where i trade off against my brother very very cool very fun time every time we'll take like 300 bucks and just spin the wheel and see what we get uh leverage use time given to take the trade and uh, amount of our account used as well so lots of uh fun suspenseful action uh, and thanks for everyone that has been joining that as well besides that um i did have something else to say but i've kind of forgotten so i'll probably just put it in the comments if i remember <laughs> but um yeah thank you for watching be sure to like the video i'll see you in the next one have a fantastic day and just be careful out there in the markets peace goodbye from house of the crypto on a wednesday is it wednesday it's probably wednesday bye